Hello and welcome to another CF Power Scripts tutorial with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily set up Facebook lead tracking in ClickFunnels using our Facebook lead tracking Power Script. And as always, in order to get started, you will need to log into your CF Power Scripts account. And once there, from the dashboard, head to the Power Script section. Now, since lead tracking is something that you want to do in specific spaces, like for example, an opt-in page or your two-step order form or your regular order form and so on, you should not add the Facebook lead tracking script globally to your entire account, but you should go ahead and pick the funnel where you want to track your leads in. I'm going to go with my demo funnel here. And as you can see, I already have a bunch of power scripts set up for this funnel specifically, as well as additional scripts on all of the or most of the funnel steps. Now for you to set up Facebook lead tracking the one thing that you have to have in place as well as the Facebook pixel power script. It should be added specifically to the funnel and I recommend if you haven't set it up yet that you go ahead and watch that tutorial first and get this done before you continue with your lead tracking setup. Now once everything is in place you simply have to pick the page where you want to track your lead event. I'm in this case going to pick our opt-in page here that also contains our recapture version 2 integration and there all you have to do is simply click on add new, search for Facebook lead tracking, click on it and you will see that you have two settings here. The first setting regulates if the lead event should be tracked value based and the pop-up already explains if you turn this on the lead event will be reported with a value of one dollar cent or whichever other currency you enter in the second setting. Now the big question is what does value-based tracking mean and the answer to that is if you plan to create lookalike audiences in Facebook you can only create them based on events that report a value. So for example your purchase, subscribe, start trial events and so on. Usually the lead event would not contain a value which means you could not create a lookalike audience based on people that opted in or based on people that are similar to those that opted in. However when you enable the value-based tracking the lead event will be reported with a value of one dollar cent. Now you obviously didn't actually earn one cent for somebody opting in and providing their email address but by reporting the event with the value of one dollar cent you will be able to create lookalike audiences based on people that opted in. Which means if you for example are in the lead generation business so you don't have funnels that contain order forms and trigger purchase or subscribe events this is the best way for you to actually be able to improve your targeting on Facebook because once you have 100 people from within one country opt in on your funnel and you have 100 lead events recorded you will be able instead of using your saved audiences that you created and where you in quotes guessed or tried to figure out the age group, interests and so on of your audience. Facebook will then look at people that actually performed the action that you wanted which would be providing you with their email address so triggering the lead event and will then go ahead and build an audience that's similar to people that performed that action. Now back to CF PowerScript so I'm gonna turn this on here by selecting yes and the last thing we have to do is click on add script. Now in order to test that it's working properly all you have to do is click on the shortcut next to your funnel step page, copy the live funnel step URL and either open it directly and use the Facebook Pixel Helper Chrome extension to debug if the event is tracking properly or even better use the Facebook's events manager there select your pixel go to test events and paste the URL in here. Now when we click open website it will open up that specific funnel step you can see our recapture version 2 integration is also loading. We can also see in the Facebook Pixel Helper that we have a page view and a view content event. And if we then go to the events manager, we can also see that we have both events here. Those two events are reported by the Facebook Pixel Power Script and just like all our other events contain a lot of additional information like the funnel ID, step ID, page ID and so on. Now when we go back to our opt-in page here you can see that based on previous visits my data is already filled in here. If I were to start typing in here or change the input we can see in the events manager that we also trigger the contact event and that is set up using the Facebook custom events power script that allows you to trigger events in certain situations like when a user starts typing in one of your input fields. Now additionally if I were to click on the continue button right now we can see that no lead event is reported however it will trigger another page free event because the URL of the page changed and now contains hashtag submit form although the form didn't get submitted because we did not complete the recapture validation. Now if I check the box that I'm not 
another robot and we click on continue, you can see that the form now successfully submits. It takes us to our demo sales page and in the events manager, we can see the lead event followed by the view content event of the sales page and the page view event of the sales page. We can also see that the lead event contains the value of one US dollar cents, just like we configured it by turning on value-based tracking and setting the currency to US dollars. And as always, all the additional parameters that we provide with every other event. And that is pretty much it. Just like that, you've added the pixel-based lead tracking to your funnel step or funnel page within ClickFunnels without actually adding any kind of custom code. And in addition to that, just like all other Facebook tracking power scripts that we offer, the Facebook lead tracking power script also works with our Facebook conversion API power script so that you can also track the events when the user uses an ad blocker or is on iOS 14. As always, if you have any questions or run into any issues, don't hesitate to press the support button that you can find on all CF PowerScripts pages when you're logged in into your account or simply if you're watching this video on YouTube leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and even more so thanks for using CF PowerScripts. See you in one of our other tutorials. Till then, bye bye!